Just Do you want to hear my joke? Okay. I'm not, ready. Not. <laughs> Amos. Amos who? Amos Kito. Well, I don't get it. <laughs> hey guys, it's Muna and Sam, and we are hanging out in a brand new interview series called Behind the Artist. It's me. <laughs> I saw that question, I was yeah. like, I, the first thing that came to mind was this Winnie the Pooh doll that I had. But okay. they threw it away. My parents threw it away because like, it grew maggots. <laughs> it was disgusting. Yeah. And then I, I was looking through um, my dad's CD collection and I found this, yeah. which is um, the Juan Chukweka series. <laughs> I used to watch this to learn Chinese because I hated textbooks. Um, and my granddad, my late grandfather, is like a Chinaman, like yeah. from China. Okay. And he was very disappointed that I was so whitewashed. <laughs> and he was like, yo, you need to get back to your roots. So he tried yeah. to find a fun way to, for me to like learn Chinese. And then he bought me this um, this CD set. And then Aww. I watched the whole thing through, but I can't remember a thing now, but. Okay, so you shared with us um, this photo. Okay. Right here. Yeah. Well, the first album I bought is actually not in that photo because I lost it when I was spring cleaning. Um, so I was like looking and then I was like, oh shit, I don't know where it is. But it was um, Stop the Clocks by Oasis. Mm -hmm. um, and then those three albums are the ones that I remember getting next. Yeah. So um, the Gentle Bones album he actually gave to me after his concert at the okay. Tab. Um, we did a song together at that show and then he he signed my CD and gave it to me. I was like, oh. <laughs> and yeah, I still keep it because I, I love his music and he's so very good friend of mine. So yeah. it's that. And then um, the Wu-Tang Forever album just mm. looks very... Cool. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and I was like, you know, angsty and like 16, 17. I was like, yeah, you know what? Yeah. I, I feel something when I see this album, so I bought it. Mm -hmm. um, and then Yuna's album, I just, I've always been a fan of her music. So. Yeah. Tell me more about these two. Uh, um, so where I found that same Juan yeah. CD <laughs> set um, is my dad's album collection yeah. and he's got hundreds of these because you know, he didn't really have like streaming services yeah. back in his time. So he's like collected, he, he loves music. But both my parents are very musically inclined. Yeah. Like um, how I got into music was they used to sing in like their church choir. So um, growing up, the kind of music I listened to was very like kind of a mixed bag because um, my dad studied overseas for most of his life, so he is he's very like he knows a lot about Western artists yeah. and he used to listen to like um, what's his name, the guy who sang Piano Man, Billy something. <laughs> Billy Joel. No, I, Billy Joel. God, yeah. Right. So that so that guy, got he's got right. um, at least like a couple of his albums and then like mm. just a lot of. OG artists that I have no idea yeah. <laughs> who they are and um, like Elton John and then my mom's playlist was like Twilight Paris, like nursery, oh. like songs yeah. to sing children to sleep. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah I, I subconsciously have that embedded in my head because I listened to that a lot as a oh. kid. In my latest album, um, I tried to like make it a bit more like old school R&B yeah. versus like modern with a lot of like synth sounds. So it's very like just very classic instrument sound and then I wanted to build on the songs by like layering a lot of like vocal choruses mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so it's like there'll be like a chorus and just like 20 something or like 30 something of my vocals yeah. like stack. <laughs> what is this um, feeling? <laughs> uh, so I feel like I couldn't summarize so I took two photos. Yeah. Okay so the first one is like <laughs> it's like this photo face because yeah. It's very cute. Okay, that's got to do with the... Because behind the scenes making it was actually quite difficult. Mm. So there was a lot of like... Um, <laughs> like things that got delayed. And then some of the songs and the thing is like... To me, it was hard to answer this question because... Um, instead of like one theme, it's like a storyline kind yeah. of. Yeah. Like it goes from um, like a sad song to like... Um, I think In My Head is quite early in the album. Yeah. And it's like a full-blown like breakup song. And then it goes like that last song on the album, it's Crew. Um, which is a like, very uplifting, like, well, I thank my friends for like, being there for me kind of thing. So it was, it's quite like a spectrum of yeah. emotion. So, like, this one is just for the whole, like, why am I caught up on some bodo? <laughs> um, so I make a bodo face. <laughs> and then the second one was like, I was trying to make a seductive face, but I obviously didn't do a very good job. <laughs> <That's my best. laughs> Can you tell? It looks like it's a yeah. It is a sexy face. Trying to yeah yeah yeah. I can see it. To me, the whole album sounds very round and like mm. a bit 
not like like an explicitly like explicit yeah. song, but like just like a bit sensual. In the yeah. way that it's very lush. I feel yes. like a lot of the things um in there is just very raw instrumentals and like a lot of like vocals and mm-hmm. like um when I made that face I was thinking specifically of the song I did with Slow Down. Mm-hmm. Um it's called How It Ends. And his voice is just very sexy on yes. the track. This is what you oh, showed us so sweet. Um, this was very easy to answer because um yeah. I got this letter like years ago. Um I used to have like um yeah. yeah I keep most of the letters that um I get from shows. This one is just insane because it's so long mm-hmm. and then the the small one next to the black one is like two pages. Yeah. Um and the girl wrote it, her name is Celeste. Um and I can't remember what is in the letter, but it's just the fact that somebody took the that the time and the effort to write me that kind of a letter was just like I cried reading like both of those. Yeah, yeah and just the fact that like I just do music and I started like on SoundCloud, like just like feel a bit emo today, let me write a song and yeah. post it and then it's like gotten to this point where like people like, Oh I, I love your music and it helped me through like a breakup or like a period of depression and then they write me letters or like DM me or what and it just yeah it's, it's crazy to me that that, that that I did that you know who are your closest friends and why um besides you <laughs> no um, um I'm this is um Claire yeah and this is the photo that we took at my 8th birthday party at my house so I've known Claire my whole life yeah. like literally we were baptised together which is it's such a precious, like, special connection to me because I, you know, it's like, yeah, we're friend, friends for life. I'm like, yeah, that's, there's a, you mean like 10 years, <laughs> la, you know? But, like, I've literally been friends with her my whole yeah. life and we're still really close. And I just, she's been there with me through, like, everything. And, like, we've seen each other grow. We used to be, like, toilet buddies. We mm. liked the same boy at six okay. years old. Like, <gasps> she saw me through my first, like, my first crush, my yeah. first real, like, breakup with a boyfriend, like, through all my flings and, like, me acting out and, like, I've seen her through a lot of her stuff as well and like she's like one of the happiest people I know but also like she's been through so much stuff and that's why she's so strong and like so positive about life and I just I really love her yeah and Um, this is the photo that you've showed us very cheesy but um (laughs) my boyfriend I would say um his name is um what does he say really his artist name is Melo his real name is Juno um Mm -hmm. Um, and he's a he's a singer yeah. um, in Korea, and um, we haven't been together very long, like slightly under a year. But um, he's just he's like one of the most like difficult upbringings that I've ever like heard of. Like he's still ambitious, and he's like one of the most I don't know, just like disciplined and like ambitious people I've met, but not in like an obnoxious way. Mm. Yeah, and I just I've never met anybody who's like. I don't know, it's like been through that much like yeah. shit in their life and I feel like he teaches me a lot about myself just by being with him and like seeing his outlook on life and the way he still wants to like like do the best for himself. To me it's very I don't know, like very commendable. Alright, so we were so in love with your new EP mm-hmm. titled In Between that we have a little game for you. <laughs> I'm thinking because I'm super excited. So the game is we're gonna show you a photo and you're gonna name me the title, okay? Oh. From the photo itself. I'm old. So oh my it has a. It, it's related to one of the titles from your EP. That's a hint. <laughs> you want another hint? <gasps> yes. Give me a hint. What does it rhyme with? <laughs> It rhymes with... Oh, this is too easy. It rhymes with you. Crew? Yeah! Oh, I got leaf one. Because I got my crew, so it's all good. Like, all the leaves are like together oh. as friends. Wait, everybody, stick together. Oh, so stick. There's a stick. Ah. Everybody, grow I have a feeling it was a happy, it was a happy song. Because yeah. it's like, day, but I, I would never have guessed that. Wow. Lipstick on lips. <laughs> Wait, I love a song about something about lips. <sighs> why is it green? Is that something a reason why about it's green? The, no, something about the taste of your lips. Oh, solid. No, <laughs> Sam. No, <laughs> I don't even know my own. You don't. You want more? You not. You don't. You want more really? than just the taste of your lips. Oh, your girl. Yes. One more. Rubs, rubs, kebabs. Yes. Wow. All right, all right. Next uh, one. Next one. Okay. This one is quite straightforward. Let's get coffee yeah. with Omar Kenobi. Good job. Okay. okay, last one, okay? Oh. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> close. We're close. Yeah. What is it doing? Pointing at me. Wait. Don't stop. I feel like y'all all in some joke that I don't know, sir. It's pointing at my face. <laughs> okay, but I'm gonna give you a, a way easier hint, okay? You see your boyfriend. So and stressed. you tell him I love I love you. You you It's just you? Yeah. The song title is just you. Yeah. <laughs> But congratulations, you got all of them right. I might give you like Yay. half point for that. A first! Okay, thank you so much for joining us. Thank Sam. you for having me. I hope you had fun. Yeah, of course. Not too stressed on <laughs> <with> my questions. <laughs> <laughs> no! Okay, before I let you go, shall we take a selfie together? Yeah. Okay, let's see.